gel injections treat knee pain by inserting hyaluronic acid inside your knee to increase the cushion, the lubrication, and the, the shock absorption that's happening deep inside your knee. But when you get gel injections, you don't necessarily get great advice about what to do afterwards. So you might be told something like, well, take it easy for a few days, or you know, kind of use your common sense. And none of that is very clear or helpful. So in this video, I'll share some of what I recommend to my clients after they've had knee gel injections and some of the guidance that is in the online fitness community, Better Knees for Life. Quad sets are the simplest way to keep thickening the joint fluid deep inside your knees. So the exercise promotes a more viscous, more gel-like substance, which better cushions and protects your knees. To perform a quad set, first start by tightening your core and do this by either pretending to extinguish a candle at arm's length or inflate a balloon. Once you Feel that tension in the front of your abdomen, maintain that, and then engage your, your glute muscles. Do this by kind of squeezing both sides of your rear end together. So with your core engaged and your glutes engaged, then you're gonna tighten the muscles on the front of your thighs. You'll feel the back of your knees press into the towel roll and it should feel comfortable in your knees. You'll hold this these contractions for a total of five seconds. Again, it needs to feel really comfortable and then you'll relax. You'll complete quad sets 10 to 20 times in a row and repeat five different times each day. Gentle motion moves the fluid around inside your knees and it also massages the surfaces inside your knees. And you can get gentle motion through a variety of ways. You can sit on an elevated surface Right now I'm sitting on a massage table, but you can sit on a number of different surfaces. It might be a, a tall stool or top of a, a, a heavy desk, even the back of a pickup truck, anything in which you're sitting on that's sturdy and that your feet are dangling and aren't touching the floor would work for this type of gentle motion. You can also sit in the standard chair and put a furniture mover or something else that's slippery underneath of your foot and gently bend and straighten your knee. A third way of getting gentle motion for your knees is biking. And that might be biking outside if the terrain is really flat and level and you're in an easy gear. It might be using a stationary bike, again, if there's not much resistance on the machine. It, it might even be a floor bike, one of those portable um, the ergometer cyclers that you can put on the floor while you're and use it while you're sitting on the couch or, or even under your desk. The biggest thing about biking is it's not always comfortable for, for everyone's knees. So it's not like a universally good recommendation. And if you're concerned about it or you know your knees don't feel absolutely fantastic while you're doing it, I would invite you to check out my video, Four Steps to Determine if Biking is Good for Your Knees. Try to complete gentle knee motion at least three different times during the day, achieving a, a total of about 20 to 30 minutes every day. You'll need to protect your knees the most during the first three days after gel injections. So if you have any knee pain while walking, I recommend you use crutches or hiking poles, even if it's just around the house. And if you're standing in the kitchen to cook, I recommend that you at least intermittently sit or perch on a tall stool so you're not standing for long periods of time. If you have to sit for the bulk of your day, make sure you're not keeping your knee in one static position. So use some of the gentle motion techniques that we talked about earlier, or just be sure that you're not keeping your knee completely bent the whole time, keep changing positions. If you have stairs in your home or you're in a building without an elevator, in either case, if you can avoid stairs, I recommend that you check out my video, How to Avoid Knee Pain on Stairs. After the first three days, I recommend that you gradually reintroduce activities and that you do so with, with one activity at a time. 
introduce one activity at 50% the duration that you were able to, to complete that activity prior to your gel injections without any knee pain. So for example, if you were able to walk your dog for 30 minutes every day without knee pain, then reintroduce dog walking for 15 minutes a day. Really make sure that 15 minutes a day feels good to your knees before you increase the time or before you add a, a second activity in. This is typically the hardest part following gel injections for most people. It really requires exercising a lot of patience. And so I invite you to access my free guide to save your knees using the link below and check out additional opportunities to overcome your knee pain in the description section below this video within YouTube. Finally, subscribe to this YouTube channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss future videos about overcoming knee pain.